so this is your typical online store where uh, people buy groceries and it encompasses at this stage I've been able to display products um, from the database and the for the database I'm using the Microsoft SQL so these products are coming from the database and at this stage I've been able to also um, apply filtering and sorting so that someone the user can search for the product let's say the user searches for rice so the rice can be added to cut which is a product has been with a toast um, your product has been added to cut and so also someone or the user can also sort uh, um, sort by uh, categories so that each time let me just reduce this so that it becomes clearer so each time there's a, a sorting uh, the user can comfortably uh, get to the the sorted items so this um, is totally unrelated so at this stage uh, I've been able to um, implement sorting filtering and also the add to cart functionality so that someone can add to cart and have a toast and the cart changes also the value on the cart changes and this template i got from um, w3 layouts which is one of the the best template i've seen for um, e-commerce website so but at the same time um, it's just to showcase my uh, back-end skills on uh, um, asp.net call uh, c sharp so at this stage this is the level i am at and i've been able to um, get to know how the front end and the, the back end applications um, function uh, this is actually in angular i i use the the angular um i think just angular 6 up uh, no angular it was angular 10 yes so i use the angular 10 which uh, i had to update uh, because the asp.net comes with uh, I think Angular 8 thereabout. So then with some twist also I made some changes and yeah that was how I'm able to get to this level. So yes this is how far I've gone and my next okay also um, I think I also implemented the routing um, when you go to cut you you can uh, the user can can um, the user can increase the values and an increase and then you continue shopping okay the values changes so and each time the the checkout uh, functionality is not yet uh, uh, it's not there yet so but I've been able to this is like the the total of what is added to cut so which is another um, functionality so for now yes this is where I have come to and this um, 
the authentication has not been implemented so I would just have to connect the, uh, the functionality of these buttons the sign in and the sign up button I wouldn't go for the shop locator because um, Google APIs uh, I can use Google API for that but I wouldn't want to do that so but for now yes this is how far I have gone so thanks for watching and let me know